the return of erstwhile Leica era representative Cordell Hyde to electoral politics following a two-year hiatus in 2012 is a comeback for stalwarts of the People's United Party in that constituency. On Saturday evening, scores of supporters, including those from outside the community, converged on the St. Martin's football field. Before a sea of blue, Hyde's candidacy for the next general elections was endorsed by the brass of the PUP. I brought it Hyde to the sun of the square. Yeah. And I pledge the work for the, yes. for the achievement the aims and objectives of the aims and objectives of the peaceful constructive Belizean revolution. Of the peaceful constructive Belizean revolution. The work for the principles. The work for the principles, policies and programs. Policies and programs of the People's United Party. Of the People's United Party. To abide by the Constitution, abide by the Constitution discipline, and decisions. discipline and decisions oh, yes. of, the People's United Party. of the People's United Party. Hyde's oath to office succeeded what, to others, may have been a homecoming of sorts. His legacy as a successful politician in Lake Independence is unmatched since his foray into politics in 1996, stepping down in 2012 to attend to his terminally ill son. Two years ago you made my burden a little lighter. Of me doing some very dark days yes, so that today I can declare yes, the world and country yes, that will like some people when I just call you. That greater cause, as Belize Rural Central Era representative Dolores Balderamos Garcia would proudly declare in a rousing address, is the continued work of the People's United Party in furthering the growth and prosperity of the nation. The People's United Party has always been the hope of Belize and the future of our country, the accomplishments of our country have always been made under the People's United Party. I want to take a moment this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to say to everybody here that the ministers of education who have made a difference in this country have been from the People's United Party. Correct me, right Honorable Said, if I am wrong. We have had Madam Liz, am I correct? We have had Said Musa, am I correct? We have had Francis Fonseca, am I correct? And we have had our hero of the afternoon, Cordell High! All the good things, ladies and gentlemen, all the good things that have happened in education for our people, our children, our future, have been under the ministers of education of the People's United Party. Elsewhere during the convention, former Prime Minister Said Musa took the opportunity to address the social ills plaguing Belizeans, particularly those on the south side of Belize City. He framed his pointed commentary within the context of the gang suppression unit and its questionable modus operandi. The people in Lake Independence have been living a nightmare of neglect and repression just as much as all the young people on Southside Belize City. Yes, my friends, I was looking at uh, what the Amandala said in, I believe it's an editorial or perhaps it's from the publisher, that Belize today to be young and black in Belize City today is to be treated as a criminal or a potential criminal. 
That is the sad state of affairs that we're in today, my friends. When we have these GSU people riding about in pickups with US flags on them, and they go into your home and raid your yard and your home and lock the house and tell even the occupants, even the people who live in that house, you cannot see what we are searching for. They lock out the people and they carry out their search. And they beat, they beat up people as well. We saw it on television night after night. This is what we are dealing with, my friends. We are becoming a police state under Dean Barrow and the UDP. And they say they are fighting crime. They are not fighting crime. They are the ones showing the bad example of criminal behavior. Marking it a classic example. Equally lending his unwavering support was former party leader, Orange Walk Central Era representative, Johnny Briseño. Cordell and I, we have been in many battles. And whenever Cordell and I fight, we fight to win for the people of Belize, ladies and gentlemen. We all know that the people of Lake Independence have always had a proud history of having good leaders, leaders like Carlos Diaz and Cordell Hyde, ladies and gentlemen. And now that Cordell Hyde has seen his people suffering, Cordell Hyde has seen his people abandoned, Cordell Hyde has seen his people victimized. Cordell is saying enough is enough and he is ready to fight for you in Lake Independence, ladies and gentlemen. While Hyde prepares to take on incumbent UDP era representative Mark King, there is still a lot to be done on the ground to secure his seat in the House of Representatives. Reporting for News 5, I 